Right, so my dear mother and father, a.k.a. Grandma and Pops, have decided to come up with this... Evil uh, plan. Evil plan, where we're going to be blindfolded, and they have bought us some treats, and I use that term loosely, um, for us to try, and I guess work out what they are, and... Um, Probably like and probably laugh at our uh, reactions. So um, stay tuned uh, and we're about to get poisoned. Enjoy and laugh along with us. These American treats. Yes, the American treats in America. Right. The salted plate. What the heck is that? Ah! Oh, weird. Oh, they're like little biscuity things. They're like um. They're walkers. They're fishes. Those little fish things. Um, I don't know what they're called, but they're little fish. <laughs> I'll take another one. Mmm. A lot, though. They're both salty. They're quite salty. Uh, yeah. Like a crispy, sort of snacky sort of thing. You've got something else? Yeah. Okay. Can you finish those off? I've already had. Can you give me pets? Number two. Oh, is it? Oh, I reckon this is going to be like a salt water taffy sort of thing. Would be my like guess. You got on? You never told me. He's in a wrapper, darling. That's not very fair. Oh, oh my god, it's true. Mm, bye bye fillings. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my good grief. Mm. Oh, ow. Chewy, isn't it? Mm. It's quite bland. I think I'll leave this one for the next Leave century. Me. Okay. Yeah, it's quite bland. What's that? It's minty. Yeah, it's certainly minty, you're right. Mm. What was that then? It was taffy. It was a little taffy. I was right. Two for two. There you go, Theo. Okay. okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it feels like a bit like a rock. Oh, this feels like, um, oh, what are those things that we have at home? Okay, what? It isn't one of those circle things mm. that you dip in tea. Mmm. Marshmallowy. Chocolatey. It definitely chocolate. Biscuity. Do you want to bring the packet out there? What is what? <laughs> oh, it might be actually. I don't know what they're called in the, in the UK. Mm, I like those dipper things that you're looking to. Oh, quite like that. Mm. Um, so, nothing nasty, is it? No. Not yet. Yet. Oh, you said yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> The other one. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. mm. I quite like this challenge. We just get fed. Yeah. <laughs> you just sit there and just fill your face. Mm. <laughs> so we, we, were, should, uh, we should do this at an all you can eat buffet. What were they? Fudge marshmallow cookies from Publix. Mm. Fudge marshmallow cookies from Publix. Nice. Okay, where are you going? I reckon Andrew might go. Oh no, it's going to be a sour worm, isn't it? It's, it's going to be sour. It, why is it? How is this even American candy? How is it a worm? Is this actually edible? Oh. Um, it's not edible. Mm. Oh, it is edible. Oh, it's 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 edible. It does just sit in front of Huh? It can't taste it at the same time. Really? Mm. Okay. What was that? Kind of tasty at the same time. Oh, okay. Rather, rather him than me. I'll have one. You want another one? Yeah, I'll have one. I guess that's the first time I've ever seen that. Oh, I'll have to get those later. I think Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Experiences with my father. With me, the father. With him. The cool dude. <laughs> I'm with him, the old man. Um, 
I've had experiences with my father. All oh, right, okay, we have <laughs> experiences with my father today. Yeah. Um, we're off to Deezer Land uh, today, or Deezer World, or Deezer Land? Deezer Land. By the way, if you're not a petrol head now, you may not want to watch the video. <laughs> so, Deezer Land is a, it's got loads of bits and bobs to do, um, plus it's got a car museum, go-karting, and stuff like that. So, we're going to go and have a mooch. Uh, we're using some attraction coupons. It's going to pinch that. Uh, you can get these at Walmart and um, lots and lots of different shops. I think we got those from uh, the entranceway to Golden Corral. Um, they give you discounts, so we're going to do that. Um, this one's given us 15% off certain things, but there's different discounts. So worth a look, worth having a gander. So we are off to there. Right next door to Dieselland is also quite an intriguing place to come and have a look at, especially if you're British. It's called Outdoor World, where you can buy everything for an outdoor kind of living, whether it be boats, um, hunting equipment, fishing equipment, um, just loads and loads of different stuff. And it's just quite interesting to go for a look round. I apologise, I've forgotten my gimbal today, so uh, or my gimbal today, so you're going to have to have a wobbly video. So I do apologise. Um, <sighs> Isn't that the truth? Oh. So, <laughs> so we shall go and have a look at Diesel Land. So here's the entrance. It's rather large. I think this was um, an old mall. I remember it being a mall. I think um, that's what I think it is. I may be wrong. But I'm sure this is from an old mall. So let's get inside and see what's what. So there we go. That's the. Outdoor world I was just showing, telling you about. We're going to get inside quickly because I started to hear some thunder. But that's the uh, outdoor world. They literally sell everything. Right then, where's Pops gone? Pops has disappeared off. As per usual, there he is. He's gone the other way. Oh, I don't know. Nightmare. It's Mater! Looks like you can also do exotic car rentals if you fancy as well while you're over here. So we've got lots and lots of things. We've got a gift shop by the looks of things. Lots of different types of gift shops. Go-karting track, looks like quite a decent track actually. We've got a drag car for some reason. Yeah, we've got a how's my slick, how's my driving slick. We've got a NASCAR. No, I think it's probably a record card I thought. Um, got leather stuff. Astro fuel. Yeah, it's 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 American, mate. That's Fifty-three. What it is? <gasps> if anything, just down in the comments what it might be. Oh yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, you might hear me squealing quite a lot today. But the boat car was quite. Yeah, some sort of boat car. aqua car. A rolling party barge. Okay. They've got lots here, good grief. Just for you to walk, look around. Oh my gosh. Then we've got military police vehicle. We've got... Dad's looking at motorcycles from his youth. That's a very subtle Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Ben. I don't remember what from, but I'm sure it's in That reminds me of a TV program that was on. I sure it wasn't in that colour, but it was like that. I remember something so similar on the phone. Like, I know they're on the phone. Little Alpha. Just bring me back to the young days. That's for sale. Alright, there we go. Keep going around. Ooh. Sophia, years ago, I came over here as a kid. And I made friends with a kid who had something quite similar to that, and we used to bomb around the estate in it. Really? Yeah. You, you, you could go into it? Yeah, I, he let me drive it loads. What? Yeah, it was very, very nice of him. Oh, I know. You're so lucky. I am. Uh, how much did it cost? Uh, four and a half thousand dollars. Is it just in I got. I think his dad made his. Uh, There's another beetle question. over there. Interesting question. Do you think you can? Do I think I could build one? Yeah. I, would, I think with time and learning and stuff, yes. But we couldn't... What you can't do over, he, uh, over at home that you can do over here 
is that he was allowed to drive them on the pavements or over here sidewalks what? Um, where we wouldn't, we wouldn't be allowed to legally do that. Why not? Just against the law. Ah, that's what that is, axe throwing. So if you find that, you know, you're here and your kids have really annoyed you and you could do with letting off some steam, axe throwing might work. <laughs> Just bring a picture of your kid, throw the axe at them. What's this? Fitness center? Yeah, we'll give that a miss. We're on holiday. <laughs> And we've got an arcade, pinball arcade sort of place as well, which is pretty cool. VR. Oh uh, yeah, you've got, that's right, sorry, yeah, a VR roller coaster experience, which, to be honest with you, if you're here, why not just do a roller coaster? What else oh, have we got here? Oh, oh yes, I know what you mean, the little the cat thing. Oh my good grief, this just goes on and on and on. So they've got a cinema in here as well, by the looks of things. <gasps> Military pavilion. pavilion. Yeah. They've got a kind of ecto half. I'm not, I'm not going to call it an ecto one. It's an ecto half because it's not quite right. But it's pretty cool, all the same. Loads of pinball machines. Is this going to No, it's not quite right, but it's still pretty cool. Right, okay. There you go. Diesel Land. Florida's largest indoor attraction. Right, so that's the cinema. Um, and it looks like it shows lots of different films. It's not just... It's got Dune on there and stuff like that, so it's not just... Um, you know, car related films, it's lots of different stuff. Oh, Pops has found a map. So, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of options. There we go. Lots of options. You can pause the video if you want to. There we go. Thank you, Pops. Oh. So, we got the auto museum down there, which looks quite interesting. I believe the lodge guys came to this as well and they went they tried to see um night rider car i can't remember if they oh, sorry darling um i can't remember if they did or not um but uh yeah, there's lots of different types of cars i'd like to see we also have another little volkswagen beetle with number 53 on it very cute very tempted to buy one and do it like that to take it to car shows and stuff that'd be good fun but then i could probably end up with too many cars i'll end up being like uh, a very cheap version of jay leno good grief is this a cue for the um is this a cue for the go-karts looks like it is so what's this? You go go car to Orlando registr registration and then you've got the racing by the looks of things. Well, let's go and have a look in here to see what the prices are and all that lot. So dear Pops is queuing. There it is. Dear Pops is queuing in the uh, queue for us for the go-karting so we can have a quick wander around. So there's loads and loads and loads of E3 places. Um, yeah, loads and loads of eating places, which is quite good. So you could easily spend quite a few hours here uh, and not have a problem. Oh, I'm sorry. And then you've got... Now that's Ecto-1. That's cool. There's Ecto-1. And we've got... Bubble Official car. pace car. And he got a bubble car. No, that's um, Fab One. That's from um, oh Thunderbirds. You've got the Mystery Machine from Scooby Doo. Bugs Bunny Mobile, whatever that is. Carrot car. Carrot car, yeah. Um, a 
Oh yeah, the the extraordinary lead of gentlemen. It's a film. I haven't seen it, but this is. Uh, so this is another thing we no 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 we have to pay to go in there. So it's another thing we have to do. And do. Then you've got we're going to carry on going round while Dad's waiting. Bless him. So we've also got so all of these cars, and I believe these are the actual film cars, which is quite stunning, really, and probably worth a small fortune. Probably worth not such a small fortune. XO1, that is so cool. Look at that. Look at the gear to have more cool. What? Green underglow lights. Yes, that would be cool. That would be cool. I don't know what that's from actually. Um, then you've got bowling alley over here. If you want to do a bowling. And then we've got, what have we got down here? So obviously to the left of us is the museum, so that's what that's for. Look. <laughs> loads and loads and loads of restrooms, areas of restrooms, it's very good. So, uh, although I just went to the restrooms, so I'll be honest with you, I was wondering if I was going to make it back. It was very confusing. I thought I was going to get lost. Huge arcade by the looks of things. Absolutely colossal arcade uh, where you can obviously pick up your prizes that you win. Doesn't look like there's anything down there, so let's go this way. So through the arcade. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's like a play centre. Oh, there's dodging through there. I think this place also has a uh, ice skating rink somewhere. So it's quite stunning, really. There's a huge amount going on. Huge amount going on here. Loads of arcades again. The Flintstones mobiles. Flintstones cars. And then you've got American Cabby, whatever that is. That looks like another. That looks like another. Another museum actually in there. There's loads of cars in there. That's a shame that that's not open. Um, and we've got Bond coming up. Good grief! I'm amazed arcades get as much business nowadays, considering that. You know, we, we have such good computers in our homes, you know what I mean? <laughs> James Bond mobiles, is that from different films? Russian tank? Yeah. And then we've got the Bond bar. And then we're back round to pretty much the entrance, where well, you've got pool tables as well. Um, so yeah, quite incredible really. So, um, let's go find Pops. As we got back round to the start. Um, but we went to registration, which is over there, wasn't it? So we'll go right that way. We'll go back that way, even. Yeah, well, as I said, I, I think this was an old shopping mall. So it just shows you that all the old walls and stuff can be taken down and turned into something completely different. And that's what they've done here. Well, apparently, uh, what, I, what I read was Deezer, which is who this is named after. This was a man who was very much into his cars and stuff like that. There's a go-kart. Um, he was into his... Um, stuff like automobiles and stuff like that um, and he set this up a uh, multi-millionaire and he set it up to do it so um, so yeah pretty cool right Pops looks like he's moved about three inches bless him so let's go find him so we're now looking at these cars we've gone into the museum unfortunately we did try and do the go-karting but um, he has to be over a certain height and has to be over 12 to do the adult carts, which is a bit frustrating because we queued um, 
right until just before the end. And uh, unfortunately, they told us that at the end, which is rather frustrating. Um, and to be honest, I think he would probably be able to uh, drive most cars, carts better than what we've seen over here, to be honest with you. Wow, look at that. That is an actual car. That is insane. That's a limo and a half, right? Do you reckon that's where Clarkson got his idea from? For that red car? You know, the Fiat Panda? Right, let's go through here. So we've got... Is this, is this the actual Bonnie and Clyde car? I think it is. Good grief. That's incredible. So we're in the 30s. So it looks good, like all lot boat, en boat engines. Wow, he was into his model boats as well, look. Incredible. So this is all one man's collection, as I put, as I showed earlier. Captain, not Captain Kirk, Captain Jack. And then we got whatever that is, that's weird. That looks like a very Disney-esque car. Green Hornet from the film. That's very, very, very dark green, almost black. Good grief. Oh, Christine. That's from the scary film, Christine. Say again. Come up, come with me. Say again. What is Christine? Christine, um... It's from a Stephen King film. It's about a scary car. Oh, dude, look at that. Look at that. One of Theo's favorites. So we follow the path on the floor to know what areas we're going to go. Grief, we've got only fools and horses stuff. Right, okay, the collection continues. Okay. Well, Looks like the con collection continues through here. This is random. You feel like you're going somewhere naughty. Right, okay, so that's one way of doing that. Okay, that's very odd. So then we keep, round, keep going round. Look at this car, Theo. Do me a favor, just run down the length of this car. That is insane. That's that, how long that car is. That's bonkers. Oh my good gosh. That's probably the poshest golf... That's a golf buggy. A oh. Duesenberg golf buggy. Oh my good grief. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That silver and blue one. I like that. Yeah, that's quite... That's it's Duesenberg's Model X. <laughs> Looking too far, you the oh, I quite like the pipes. I like them, but it kind of makes it look So what you, they used to do with the Duesenbergs, and uh, quite a few cars actually back in the day, is they would you would buy the chassis, and then you would take it to a coach builder, and they would put whatever builder you wanted on it. So that one's gone for like a Speedster, one's gone for a Cabriolet, one's gone for a family wagon. It's all the sh same chassis underneath, which is quite incredible. Really Can you hold the drink for me? Really Thank you. Funny, is this limo? Has a helipad, a garden. Oh my good grief. And a swimming pool. Or a dipping pool. Right, okay, so what we got here, this is Israel. So this is Israel's uh, cars. So you can see there's a few little, like that looks very similar to, that looks very similar to an Alfa Romeo in a lot of ways. So this is Israel's options, not options, offerings, I should say. Um, that looks very similar to a Triumph TR something. Oh, actually, and it's got the front end of the Alpha again. So yes, that looks quite similar to what we've had over in Europe. Quite pretty, though, has to be said. But again, these are all one man's collection. Okay, we've now got offerings from France. Viva la France! So we've got a, I've never seen one of those before. I've been to quite a few car mu museums, a 2CV or Duchevaux estate. 
That looks like very similar to a moggy thang. Citrons, big citrons. Big citrons. Wow. This is must taken some collecting to collect all of these. It's quite impressive. Yeah, we can go either go through that way or go out and go in again. What do you want to do? Okay. So now we're in Germany by the looks of things. Oh no. Lots of so that's Italy. So that's little Alphas, Fiat's. Then we've got Theo, 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 Theo. Let's go around this way. And then we've got oh, we've got Russia. Mm hmm. Well, they kind of make cars. They don't really make the best cars. Yeah, they don't make the best presidents either. That's for sure. All right, we've got loads and loads of. Oh, that looks like he's got a puncher. It's on a lean. Bless it. Where are we now? This is the UK, I guess. Oh yeah, Rolls Royce. Big Rolls Royce. That was that's a very similar one to that was used in the James Bond film. And then we've got whatever that is. That was a mistake, I think. Wow. So that looks like. Doesn't that back end look a lot like the, the new Beatles? Yeah. You know what I'm you know doing with stuff? Hang on a minute. This is a 19, so that's E Reg. So that's a 1988, I believe. So that was developed a long time before the new Beatle. And I think you could arguably say there's a little bit of design copying there on the new Beatle. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. That's made by Cooper, that's made by Austin. And, and Beatles made by VW. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> a, beach, a beach sort of buggy. And then we've got Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Yeah. And then I think that's a Silver Shadow. Oh, no, isn't this a Corniche? Sorry. And then, oh, I'm going to trip over myself. And then we've got Bentleys. I'm more of a Bentley kind of guy than a Rolls Royce. But again, all of these privately owned. It's incredible. Huge amount of vehicles. Um, I'm totally lost on how we've come where we are now. I'm not sure we should have come that way. I think we've got lost. Loads of VWs. Loads and loads and loads of VWs. Loads of Beetles. So this is obviously the Germany section. Absolutely incredible. Huge amount of bikes. The VW seat. Kid grief, this just goes on and on and on. It was $53 for me and Theo to come in here, and that was with me getting a bit of discount. But still, it is quite stunning how big this is. I'm quite surprised, I have to say. I'm quite mesmerised how big this all is. Just keep walking around. So you've got the German cars. Good grief. Mercs and what have you. Is that a Duff? I think... I think this car here my dad had as his first car i believe if it's a daf matic it might well be i'm not sure daf naf mm, you tell me here we go we've got mr bean's mini again <laughs> Bentleys, Rolls Royces, it's incredible. The, the amount this guy had is insane. Everywhere you look, there's some vehicles. Okay, this got a whole lot cooler. Look at that. See, that's the Batmobile I remember from my youth. That's cool. 
I believe it's a Dodge Viper under those. Really? I believe so. So, so cool. Yeah, see, that's not my... I don't like this Batmobile. So, so cool. Look at all of this. It's incredible. We got the 19... What's that? 1960s Batmobile. And then going on to... 1989 Batmobile. That's incredible. They have a big one, do they? Yeah. And mind me, they have... Oh, they haven't got a tumbler you're on about. No. Yeah, I think, you know, he's got quite a lot though, hasn't he? Let's be honest. Yeah. If you're into motorbikes, a huge collection of motorbikes. Ah, I'm going to show Theo one motorbike in here. He's not that big a fan of motorbikes. But I'm going to show him this one because this is what I love. Theo. See this motorbike here, this silver one? Yeah. If I were to get a motorbike, yeah. that's the one I would get. Yeah, Harley so Davidson V-Rod. I guess what? It's still not getting <laughs> Why not? I'm not allowed because they're way too dangerous. I'll be fine. No. So growing up, <clears throat> I had a mother <clears throat> who wouldn't let me get a motorbike. And then I got married. And I had a wife who wouldn't let me get a motorbike. And now I've got a son. And he won't let me get a motorbike. I'm starting to wonder if people don't have a huge amount of faith in my driving abilities. No, it's just motorbikes are very dangerous and if one mess up thing from you or another person, it'll go slip and you're dead. That'll be fine. 80% of road crashes are caused by motorbikes. Or well, who, who's giving you that statistic? Google, Jeremy Clarkson, Mark. Right, okay. We will, we will see if that is correct. Yeah, look at the size of these cars trunks. Oh, it's got a little booster seat thing. Oh, that would quite nice to go in. I'm making a party of that. That reminds me of the car in Karate Kid. Okay. That's a big car. Well, what, what, what am I talking about? They're all big cars. They're all huge. Absolutely huge. Some beautiful Corvettes. Absolutely stunning. I'd love to know how much this collection is worth. It must be worth not even a small fortune. It must be worth an absolute fortune. I just can't get over it. I don't want to take too long over walking around because I'm very aware that my dad, bless him, is sat around waiting for us very, very patiently. So I don't want to take the neck. Um, just incredible. How many vehicles there are? I know what this is. I can already tell. It's a rear end of a plane with I have no idea a what that body is. of something else. You can I, tell. I think that, shape? that yeah, it looks like it's been taken from a plane or a helicopter, doesn't it? It's uh, somebody's idea of something. <laughs> wow. And they've got military vehicles, a lot of military vehicles. Insane. Absolutely insane. So yes, it's quite stunning how you sort of see all these and look around like lots and lots of um Land Rovers. Lots of Land Rovers actually. Two C V military. Um military 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 two C V military VW. Well <laughs> Theo's doing a march. Not entirely sure how that works out, but there we go. Lots and lots of US military vehicles. Another Land Rover. So apparently, the story goes that the guy who developed the Land Rover saw a Willys Jeep and saw how good it was and decided he wanted to build an English version. What kind of a Willys? This kind of, this, this one here, this is, I think this is called a Willys Jeep. And it was just incredible, went anywhere. It was very good at dealing with tough terrain. Yeah. And so the guy who designed what oh, we no. now know as the, the uh, Land Rover one, uh, Land Rover 90, I can't remember what it started off called, being called. Um, but yeah, he, he saw that. I got admit, I heard something completely different in my head. What's that then? Willie's cheek. <laughs> no, Willis, not Willie's, Willis. 
You, my dear boy, are obsessed. <laughs> no, you literally just say that. That's literally just what I heard. I think we can safely say Mr. Deezer had far too much money and a little bit of an obsession with buying vehicles. He owns all these parts I believe so. and the shop. I think some of them have probably been like put here um, because there's a museum, but I believe he owns all of them, yes. So again, bicycles, bikes. The dangerous bicycles in the world, because they're mopeds in my mind. You, you name it, it looks like this guy bought it, that is but didn't just buy one. He bought He decided he was going to buy them all. <laughs> right, so we've got all these micro cars, all these weird, weird and wonderful, strange, yeah. odd, funny looking, quirky, weird, like what kind of weirdo person would buy such a weird, small, little car? Oh, look, it's like Pops's car. <laughs> and then we've got a car that looks like a boat. Oh, the, the Bond bug? It looks like it can turn into a bug. That's the one they sent up into the... Um, they tried to launch into space, didn't they? The, no, uh, no. Yeah, they, they they. I thought they attached one of those to... It was, it was very similar. Was so no, big. you're right. It was a Reliant Robin exactly, it was long that they sent up... So we'll try to send it to space. That's the one they turned into a boat jet ski exactly. thing, wasn't it? Well done. Yeah, you remember better than I did. Oh, Fair play. Oh, I've got to say. I've got to <laughs> I do think this is where Clarkson got his idea. I'm sure he knows about this car. So I'm sure this is where Clarkson got his idea of having that really, really, really long Fiat Panda. Um, I'd be willing to bet money on that. Well, that was really good. I really enjoyed that. It wasn't cheap, but I really enjoyed it. Um, now there is a bond section, actually. Let's go and quickly have a look at the bond section. And then we're done, I think. You would rather a Mustang over an Aston Martin? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Have a look inside. No, nope, not one. Accident. You're mad. No, nope, I think you are. Oh, look, there's a spree. Uh -huh. I think that was from the Spy Who Loved Me. We're going to have to talk lots because I'm worried that I'm going to be done for copyright. But we'll have. Um, these were out of Skyfall. The, je the jeeps that they used. Oh my good grief, they're everywhere. Oh, Alfa Romeo that's been beaten about a bit as well. What else have we got here? Oh, BMW Z8. Nice car again. <laughs> oh my good grief, they're, they're everywhere. Um, Casino Rock, Quantum of Solace. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. BMW. 750 IL. Nice, massive truck. Oh, that, that was the truck they did the wheelie in, in the, I think it was Living Daylights. Something like that. The name's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> License to Thrill. Look at that. Now, that's one of my favourite Astons. That is a beast. When I was younger, they, you could pick one of those up for about 20 grand. They're like 200 grand now. Bonkers. That's uh, cool. Taxi. Renault 11, it was split in half. A little tuk tuk from, I can't remember what film that was from. But just all of them. That that, is this is where Bond took a little bit of a downturn and used That's... a, well, I was looking at the Z3, but yes, you're right, that. And a 2CV. Then we got the Lotus Esprit. And then we've got the boat. Uh, what else have we got in here? What else have we got in here? We've got the Submarine Lotus. So clever. So cool. And then you've got the Jaguar that was used in one of the most recent ones. Look at all of these. This is incredible. Do -do oh, a helicopter from something. Theo's having a moment. Oh, Theo's loving the Lotus Submarine, which is a fair point to be honest with you. Live and let die. Little boat, don't know what the boat is. The boat. They've also managed to squeeze an airliner in here. You know, as you do. Um, it's just incredible. Yeah, yeah it's just whack an airplane in it, why not? 
Oh, another Aston Martin. Oh, that's a Toyota. Now, here you go, Theo. Did you know something about this? So, see, all its Toyota did not make a convertible one of those. But Sean Connery couldn't fit in their coupe version, so they chopped the roof off so he could fit. Quite cool, isn't it? Quite funny. That's how determined they were that they were going to use it in the film. Aston Martin DB5 with the guns look. You know what I really wish they did? Can you see the guns where the indicators were? Yeah. You know what I really wish they'd do? Yeah, go on. They had this like concept and they had buttons to put it. Oh, what? So you could actually do it? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, absolutely mad. Look at the little mini DB5. <laughs> Gee whiz. That was uh, Goldfinger's car, I believe. And back to the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Aston Mine. Right then, so that was Dieselland. Um, as I said, unfortunately we didn't go go-karting because, to be honest with you, it wasn't what we were hoping it was going to be. Um, there was a long wait. So, um, we may have to try go-karting another day because it's still piddling down with rain. We'll drive past fun spots, see what the options are, but we might well not have an option. But we'll see what we can do. We've still got another week and a half here. So we've got lots and lots of time. Let's go and find Pops, who's probably bored, witless, and uh, see what our next plan is. But other than the go-karting, what do you reckon to Dieselland? Awesome! Yeah, I, if you're a car nut like me and him, thumbs up, definite thumbs up. Right then, let's find the old man. So this is me just going to get the car for his lordship and his other lordship because they don't want to walk out in the rain. Unfortunately, it is a very miserable, soggy day here uh, in Orlando. Very unusual for Florida. Um, the nice thing about that is you can have a very wet, miserable, soggy day followed by an absolute scorcher. So it's not the end of the world. Um, so I'm just going to find the car, go and pick them up and then we'll see what else we can come up with. But I think the idea of karting today is probably not going to happen. Outdoor karting is going to be a slip and a slidey mess. I don't think it's going to be okay. And unfortunately, I think because of the weather, other karting is probably going to be just as busy. The only negative I'd say about Dieselland is two things. One, <coughs> they have a height thing <coughs> and an age restriction for karting for kids. Now, Theo easily met the height. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't meet the age which is a shame because he'd have been great at it and the whole point was for us to race together so that's a shame on that one uh, and it doesn't have any aircon in there so it's quite stuffy uh, so that's not great either so let me go back to my Mustang convertible which will we not be converting today otherwise we're going to be driving around in a swimming pool right then let's go get the boys